So, Sony has patented anti-used game technology, and I think I need to talk about it a little bit. Uh, we get lied to a lot in the, the gaming industry, and considering the success of free-to-play games, I think it's pretty obvious that all games shouldn't cost $60. Uh, you need development and blah 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 and marketing and all that stuff costs a lot of money but a lot of times you get like Modern Warfare where they spend 60 million dollars on marketing and 40 million dollars making the game. Well Sony's gone as far as to patent technology that would completely stop the PlayStation 4 from uh, allowing used games which would mean if you didn't buy it new there's no renting it, there's no red box, there's no nothing and this caused GameStop and several other like red box um, stocks to drop like 5%. This is a pretty serious thing, because, I don't know about you, I can't really afford $60, $60 a game. And then, I mean, all, with all the DLC, I looked back at Borderlands, and I paid 60 bucks for that, and then there was like 8 downloadable contents. I ended up paying like $140 for that game. That's ridiculous. Um, there's going to be a petition, there's going to be a patent, there's going to be something, and we all need to sign it. Or we need to tell Sony, like, like GameStop said last year, when they came out, they were like, we're going to develop technology where it's not going to let you use let you put used games in the the console. You'll have to have the password that comes with the box or something. It'll link just to your account, kind of like leasing a game, and the disc is just so you don't have hu have to use a huge amount of bandwidth to download in 60 gigabyte game. Well, GameStop said they were just going to stop selling Sony crap altogether, and Sony was like, whoa, 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 whoa. now let, let's not get hasty here. Um, but they've gone ahead and they patented that they're actually developing technology saying that uh, if you want to buy a game at $35 for game from GameStop, it's not going to happen, which basically gives them the power to say that the game price never has to come down because they have to compete with the used games because in reality they're going to develop four-hour games, charge us $60, and why a used game is wonderful is because that game can make GameStop and Sony and everyone lots and lots of money because it I paid $35 for it, sold it back for $12, paid $35, the next person, and so on and so on. But this is really bad because it completely eliminates that altogether. Like, there's going to be things on Craigslist like the PS4 and 100 games for like $200. You'll end up paying, uh, and we see it with Uplay. Like, if you don't have the Uplay Passport for like Assassin's Creed 3 or any of Activision's games, like, or Ubisoft, you can't you can't get online. You can still do the campaign story mode, but any of the online features, downloadable content, status, or like, not status updates, but game, big game fixes, you don't get them. So this is kind of a serious thing. I'm going to try and tag and upload and all that fun stuff with this video, but um, comment. Uh, if you have any updated information, I'm going to put like the, the actual GameStop press release, Sony's press release in the comments. Um, like, favorite, subscribe, and comment, but I mean, comment on this, if you, this could affect us a lot, because I mean, how do, like, small game companies make their way, I mean, we're going to have Walmart, Fred Meyer, GameStop, maybe, still, if they figure out a way to keep it profitable, but what about, like, little game stores, like mom and pop shops, um, you know, with, <laughs> it just, uh, the cloud is good, and the cloud is bad, but, uh, I don't know. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. I mean, I know you, technology is going to go... Uh, discs are going to go to the way of the dinosaur. It's it's going to be, uh, you know, just... you. Who doesn't have cable modems? Who doesn't have internet, Wi-Fi? Who needs the disc? But game prices don't come down. If if I want to buy Skyrim online, it's still $40, $50, $60. And, I mean, it doesn't really seem fair because they used to tell us, well, games have to be more expensive because we have to ship it and pack it. And, well, if it just comes online... Why isn't it 15 bucks? If you sold a million at 15, it's still 15 million dollars. Uh, just I don't know. Some of my thoughts. I'm not happy about this though. This is not good. Uh, and especially considering as much as I'm working, I don't have time for anything else. Like this is my enjoyment. And if it it becomes super expensive, I'm just gonna be sitting here stealing the games online, Sony, stealing them, playing free to play. League of Legends is all I'll be playing. But anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Tell me what you think in the comments.